Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. You know, it's a great day because it is a day that the Lord has made. And so today you are going to rejoice. You will be glad. Your mouth will be full of testimonies because it is the day that the Lord has made. So, Father, thank you so much for giving us a gift on another day. Lord, according to Psalm 118 verse 24, you said, As long as you are the one that has made the day, we have no need to fear. We'll be full of rejoicing. We thank you in advance for these testimonies that will be our portion today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. A lot of us Christians are expecting the return of Jesus. And we know that when Jesus returns, his primary focus is to take his children, those ones have worked with him faithfully, have lived righteously, have walked in holiness. The plan of Jesus is to come back and take us with him. But that is not the only reason Jesus is coming back. He actually has another reason, a very unique and very beautiful reason for coming back. Now, if you read your Bible in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, it tells us why Jesus is coming back a second time. He says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So Jesus is not just coming back to take his people. Jesus is coming back to reward people who have obeyed him. Those disciples who have worked faithfully, obeying his commands, letting go of their own agenda, fulfilling the agenda of Jesus, even if it costs them their own life. Jesus is saying, I will come back, but I'm not coming back empty handed. I will come back with my reward. It's a bit like when, you know, a dad or a mom travels and the children at home are they're expecting the father to come back. They're excited that the father is coming back home, but they are even more excited knowing that the father is coming back home, but he's not coming back home empty-handed. He's, he has gifts to give his children. That is exactly what is going to happen to us. So Jesus is saying when he comes back, his reward is with him. Now, if you read verse 14, he says, blessed are they that do his commands, that they may have the right to eat the tree of life and they may enter into the gates into the city. So Jesus is saying the people that should rejoice at the coming of our Lord Jesus are those who do his commands. And the people that are doing his commands are people that are disciples of Jesus. If you are living your own way, saying the things you want, doing what you want, irrespective of what the word of God says, then you are not the target of this verse of scripture. But if you are conscious of obeying the word of God to the letter, as long as you see it in the word of God, you make up your mind to do it. Yes, you make mistakes here and there, but the point is that you are not living in those mistakes. You actually make those mistakes. There are two different things. There's a huge difference between a person who lies for a living. This is just what he does. He lies. He doesn't care. He doesn't bother. You know, this is just constantly does that to protect himself or to gain something or the other. But then there's this other Christian who is a disciple, who is working towards perfection, and he makes a mistake. He feels terrible. He confesses his sins. God forgives him, and he moves on with a determination that the Spirit of God helping him, he will not do that again. So the Bible says that if this is your pattern, then he says that you will be blessed and you have the right to eat of the tree of life. Now, if you read again in Revelation chapter 14, verse 13, it's reentries the same thing. He said, I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down. Blessed are those who die in the law from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they are blessed indeed. For they will rest from their hard work, for their good deeds follow them. Meaning the only thing that will follow you out of this life are the things you have done for Jesus. Which is why you need to concentrate on the Lord. Make God your priority. Make obedience to Jesus your priority. No matter what you gain in this life, no matter how much money you have, no matter what you have in this life, one day it will come to an end. You will see the ones that have truly been wise. Who are these ones that have truly been wise? They are the ones who have followed the commands of Jesus as his disciples. Remember Luke 9 23 tells us that if you want to be a disciple of Jesus, you have to decide that this is what you want to do, number one. Number two, you have to deny yourself. That is, let go of selfishness, let go of your own way. And then the Bible says you're going to take up your cross, meaning that you are going to lose some things because of your commitment to Jesus. And then the Bible says you can now 
come and follow the Lord. If this is how you are living your life, then expect the coming of the Lord Jesus to be to your benefit. The Bible says, as you keep doing these things and obeying God and walking in righteousness, the Bible says, those things you have done for the sake of Jesus, it will follow you out of this life. So you can imagine a person who has lived for himself, a person who has you know, lived for his career or lived for his friends or lived for whatever else he has lived for and not lived for Jesus. You know that person will regret it at the end of the day. At the end of your life, there is nothing that will follow you out. So let's end with this question. If Jesus was coming tonight and he says, now I want to reward you, will Jesus see anything to reward you for? Will there be anything you can look into your life and say, yes, because of these things you've done for my kingdom, I am going to reward you. Let me leave you with that question to meditate and think about because it is very, very crucial. And officially, the countdown to the night of power is on. is in exactly 48 hours, which is on Friday. Night of power is going to hold and it will be a time for a huge outpouring of the power of God. God wants to touch your life. God wants to change your life. God wants to prepare you and empower you for the new season of 2022. And the date is the 25th and the 26th of February. That is on Friday and Saturday. The time is 5 p.m. GMT plus one. You can watch online via YouTube. The handle is Oka's Church. You can follow on free conference call. The handle is Prophetic Virtual. Or you can follow on Instagram. The handle is Oyik's Our Friend. At the time, you can connect and be part of that particular meeting. If you want to come physically, the address is the Oak House Church, 112 Commercial Avenue. It is off by Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos. Plan to be part of what God is doing during the night of power. God bless you tremendously. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeks Alfred.